friends I hope that you're well I was just spending a bit of time planning out my day and there's a lot that I want to get accomplished I've got some meetings both in person and virtual some home projects and chores that I want to get accomplished some errands I need to run and quite a bit more so I figured we could just spend some time together today getting productive if you have a to-do list I think it would be so fun to kind of work through yours with me but I just want to take you along for kind of a productive day where we can get a lot accomplished. So here's a little preview of my to-do list. The first big thing on our schedule today is a work call in about an hour. So I'm hoping that we can wash the sheets or at least get the first load of laundry on and prep for that call before then. So let's begin with just stripping the bed, taking the sheets and putting them in the wash. I feel like I always really enjoy starting my day just with a quick easy task like that kind of gets the ball rolling for me productivity wise. Mm -hmm. That's one thing we can already check off our list. Now I want to spend some time prepping for my call. Actually though, I think I'm going to refill my water bottle first. So we'll do that, spend some time prepping for my call. And then my first call is a virtual one. So we'll do our Zoom meeting. And then we've got a little brunch meeting after that. So that is the plan for the next few hours. Let's go ahead and get some water though and get to work. I've got my water all topped off. I've been trying to go through two to three of these a day. You need to drink a lot of water when you're pregnant. And so it's 40 ounces in there and I've been trying to get at least 80 to ideally 120 ounces of water in on top of everything else that I drink throughout the day, whether that's coffee, tea, the chocolate milk, with my prenatal vitamins or anything like that. But now let's spend just a bit of time prepping getting ready for our call. And yes, especially as my pregnancy has been progressing, the couch has just become my favorite spot to work from. To finish up what I was working on literally just in time for my call, now let's hop on that. I have you been, I feel like I'm not spoken to you No, I know. Um, I've been good, I feel like. Pregnancy is starting to like really uh, feel real, <laughs> uh, especially like the last few weeks, but um, overall like I'm doing well. So it is now a few hours later. I got out of my call a bit late and ended up having to run to my lunch meeting, but it ended up being super tasty. We went to a place called Flipside Cafe, which I'd never been to before, but I got a salad that had spinach, apple, cranberry. It was kind of like a local cheese, I think, too. It was so tasty, very filling and delicious. So really enjoyed that. And now I've just come to Trader Joe's where need to get a bit of grocery shopping done. I'm hosting a little girls night at our house tomorrow evening, which 
really looking forward to it's like a little galentine's themed party and so i said that i was going to bring charcuterie so i need to pick up some charcuterie things as well as some flowers i want to make some nice little flower arrangements to scatter around the house I'm not going crazy with valentine's decor but i do feel like just some pops of pink some pops of purple would be really sweet to have so going to do that now let's head inside and when we get home i'll show you everything i got So I was able to pick up everything I needed at Trader Joe's, but on my way home, I just remembered that I've got a baby shower coming up and I need to wrap the gift. I'm currently out of wrapping paper though, so just stopped by Home Goods, and I know I saw the wrapping paper the other day when I was in there, so let's see if we can find something really quick and then we can get home and get all of the groceries into the fridge, freezer, all of that. Let's see what we can find. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Oh beautiful and the line is short too this is my lucky day hey how's it going so back home now but while i was out was able to pick up all kinds of tasty standing stuff so while i put this all away why don't we do a little haul got some pita bite crackers these things really are the best raspberry and strawberries roasted garlic marinara sauce olive oil and salt and pepper couple apples and two grapefruits. Freeze dried mango, this has been a go-to pregnancy snack for me. Lemon elderflower soda, love this stuff. I got some cranberry and clementine sparkling water. This stuff is so tasty, had it before. And then I think this one might be new cause I don't think I've ever seen it, but they also had black cherry vanilla. So decided to give that a try. We'll put those in the fridge in a second. And a couple of frozen things. I got these Parmesan pastry pups. These are like pigs in a blanket, but a little bit more elevated and so tasty. I got a selection of cheeses for the charcuterie board. We've got some goat cheese with honey. This one is an all-time favorite for me. Camembert, again, love a good soft cheese. And then some organic New Zealand cheddar. And this stuff, again, delicious. I just went for all the classics, all the things that I know that I love. Just a few basics, got some Greek yogurt with honey. Restocked on mandarin orange chicken. In my opinion, this is Trader Joe's best like freezer meal. We've got some blueberries, fresh Atlantic salmon. I think we're going to have this for dinner on Friday. And we got a couple shallots and a dummy baguette of bread. I think this is gonna go with the charcuterie, but if not, I'll just eat it. The last charcuterie item, I just got a few packages of prosciutto. I feel like Trader Joe's has both the best price and the best tasting prosciutto for when you're not going to like a deli counter and getting it cut right in front of you. It's really good. I'm definitely team prosciutto is the best and really only charcuterie meat that I feel like I need. Just a couple final, we'll call them pregnancy snacks. I got some raw whole cashews and I have been loving some cashews lately. And this sounded good. It's sweetened green mango, which I've never tried, but sounds interesting. I need to do a bit of computer work in a bit, so maybe we'll crack those out while I work. And I just got a couple little fruit bars for when I need a snack at night. So I got two apple and mango fruit bars and then two apple coconut. Just put those there. So that's everything that I picked up food wise, but then let me also show you the flowers. So first off, let me just say, I love the colors. I feel like the pinks, the whites, so beautiful. Over here, we've got some St. John's War in just a really beautiful, like bright, vibrant pink color. Some Baby's Breath, which is a true classic. These beautiful pink roses. I think there's six of them. Yeah, it looks like six or seven in there. I thought they were just so pretty. 
Then I got some eucalyptus, and I really like how the blue undertones of this kind of just, I don't know, it pairs so well with the white, the pink, I love it. And then I got some, I think these are giant mums balls, but I love them and I feel like they last forever in arrangements too, which honestly just makes me appreciate them even more. So let's pop those in some water, put these bags away, and then want to sit down for a bit because I've got a bit of computer work that I need to get done. I've got a video that's supposed to go live in a bit and I just need to put a few finishing touches on it. I totally forgot to mention this, but also got some spray roses. Okay, so I'm back on my little spot on the couch and right now I need to spend just a little bit of time wrapping up some stuff to get ready for my video to go live in a bit. I have just a tiny little bit of editing left to do. Then I also need to do final watch through of the video, make sure everything's in order, write out the description and just make sure everything is uploaded properly. So we're going to spend maybe an hour or so doing that. And then afterwards, I think while it's still light outside, I'm probably going to work out because I want to go on a walk today and do some mobility afterwards. That's been one of my favorite forms of exercise recently, especially in the third trimester. And so, yeah, we'll do that and then you know, at once the sun goes down, we can kind of just chip away at some of those final few little things that I want to get done. So we'll do that. I do think I am going to snack on these sweetened green mangoes while I work though. They just sound really tasty. Let's give them a try. Sometimes it's nice just to have a little something to munch on while you work. Oh yeah, that's really good. The description says tart and sweet. I definitely get that. Oh, that's yummy. Okay, I'm going to snack on these while we work and yeah, let's get that done. It is now an hour and a half, almost two hours later. Time definitely got away from me a bit there, but my video is ready. It did take a little bit longer than I expected just to do some of those final items, but it's set, it's ready to go, it's uploading, so hopefully we can get that up within the next hour. I also switched over the laundry. I forgot to do that as soon as I got home. So put the sheets in the dryer and then we can make those later this evening. But right now, while my video finishes uploading, because that's probably going to take like 40 minutes to an hour, always takes yeah, just a little bit of time. I figured we could do a quick workout, go for a walk, and then also do some mobility since, I mean, even though we did good grocery shopping today, we really haven't done that much activity-wise. So I'm going to grab my little Apple Watch so I can track my workout. I've been trying to make sure that I'm maintaining a good heart rate and all of that as I exercise, especially as I progress through pregnancy. But I think it's going to feel so nice just to stretch my legs and get in just a little bit of sunlight before the sun goes down. Not gonna bother changing into any fancy workout gear though because it is just a walk after all. Ugh. Okay. We got my coat, my water, keys. Let's head out. streak. So 
just finished working out and set my video to go live. So glad we got that out of the way. And it really does just feel so good to move my body, to get some fresh air. I feel like with where I'm at in pregnancy right now, that is just exactly what I need. I feel like it is getting harder for me to do anything too intensive, but things like going on walks, doing stretching and mobility, even doing some home workout types of stuff has just been so nice, really been enjoying it and just feel better for it. So really glad that we took some time to do that. But now I'm really done with all of the like big work stuff that I need to get done today. So for the rest of the evening, I just want to chip away at some little like tasks and to do's that just been meaning to get around to. So I was just looking back at my to-do list and it's actually really funny. I'd already forgotten a few of these things, even though we wrote it down only a few hours ago, but hey, that's why we write these things down. But a couple of things that I want to do for the rest of the evening are to wrap a gift for a baby shower, to swap out my screen protector. The one on my phone is all cracked and I just got a new one. So I want to do that. And then also there's some plants that I want to repot. Though I don't know that repot is exactly the right way of putting that. I just have some propagations that I really want to add to kind of bulk up some of the plants that I got them from. So we're kind of like taking from the end and using it to bulk up the middle and just kind of like the core of the plant. So that is the plan for the evening. Actually, I also want to, as I'm looking at the flowers that we got earlier, arrange those too. So it's going to be just a very chill evening, kind of slowly working up way at that but I'm really looking forward to that it's kind of like chill productivity but these are all things that really make me feel accomplished like I've kind of got myself my life together and so yeah we'll spend some time working on each of those first though I just heard the dryer go off so let's get the sheets out and make the bed got the bed made and now I just want to spend a few minutes wrapping the gift for the baby shower that I'm going to. It's actually not for I think two more weeks but we have a lot of baby things in our house right now as we prepare for our little guy to arrive and so I really just want to wrap these things so that I don't make the mistake of lumping all of this stuff in with our baby things. That way it'll stay separate. When it's wrapped, I'll just like be able to look at it and know we're good to go. So going to do that, I got this really sweet little play gym for my friend as well as a toy organizer. These were both on her registry and so I thought that they would be yeah, just a sweet little present for her. Honestly, so many of the things on her registry were already taken, so I was like picking from what was left over, but I think that they will both be really fun and useful things. And then just going to wrap them using this beautiful wrapping paper that I found at Home Goods. This is the pattern on it. How pretty is that? I love the floral. She was having a little boy, but I feel like the dark floral it still reads feminine, but less feminine. And there really weren't a ton of wrapping papers that I loved. I really like this one. I know I'll be able to use this for other things as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this gift. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to write the card now. Got one here just with a white envelope, but I will at least kind of put it together that way. Maybe when we get closer to the shower, I'll actually write the card. There we go. This just came out so perfect. I feel like I love this print even more seeing it on an actual gift. Just added a little ribbon to spruce it up a bit. 
So glad we were able to get that wrapped. I'm really happy with how it came out. But now I want to spend just a couple of minutes swapping out the screen protector on my phone. The other day I had a, a moment of clumsiness and pretty badly dropped my phone. So the screen protector, fortunately not the screen, that's fine, but the screen protector did crack in two different places. I now have spider webs just going across my screen. So got a new little batch of screen protectors in. I just want to take off this old one, replace it with a new one so that when I look at a screen, I just don't see a ton of different cracks. the challenging part. Okay, but now really the only big thing that I want to do still this evening is to repot this couple of plants, but I'm pretty hungry right now. So I'm going to make myself this little, I think it's a sweet potato harvest bowl from Daily Harvest. I'm going to pop this in the microwave and yeah, just have a little bite to eat while I do that because I could use something. I've been snacking a lot this evening, but I'm just feeling like I need something just a bit more substantial. So let that cook for these three minutes. This just finished warming up. It smells really good. I just got all my plants out. I think what I'm going to do is just spend a few minutes eating first, and then we can work on the repotting. This really is like perfect, easy, healthy food though. So tasty. Hmm. Well, that food was delicious, but now let's get to our little repotting project. I have this little jar of propagations here and then a cup of propagations here. And essentially what I want to do is just to use each individual container to bolster up and just kind of, yeah, to give a little bit extra to the respective plants that they go with. So we've got this one here and then this one right here. So think we're just going to basically make space in the potting soil, make sure that they're well watered and hopefully they'll take root, especially since they've already started developing root. And it should be pretty simple and straightforward. So I'm just going to separate these out now, but yeah, that's what I love about propagating plants is it's a lot easier than you'd think, especially if you've never tried it before. And it really does so much just to kind of bulk up and make a plant look so much healthier and more full. Both of these plants are now good to go and I'm just loving the bulk and the volume that the propagations added to each of these plants. I feel like they both look so much more full and healthy now. So we're ready to put these back where they belong. This one goes in our bedroom and then this one goes in the front room, although that one might be moving pretty soon once we start work on the nursery, but for now it can go back there. So let's go ahead and do that really quickly. We'll do you first. And we can do you next, Just right in that corner. Well, we have officially made it to the end of our list, which feels so good. We've gotten so much done today. Right now, I am craving just a chill, evening to spend some time relaxing, unwinding, all of that. So I 
think what I'm going to do is sign off for the night and then probably spend just a bit of time hanging out with Christopher, maybe watching a show, probably arranging our flowers for tomorrow, but generally just spending a bit of time relaxing before going to bed. So I really hope that you all enjoyed spending some time with me today as we got productive together. This was definitely a very busy day, but we got a ton done, feels great. If you were maybe working your own to-do list alongside me, I hope that you were able to get a lot done as well. But as always friends, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.